subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. The measurement of CO2 has become an integral part of the anesthesia monitoring. In this video, we will be having a brief look about the capnography. This is the ETCO2 setup. This is an airway adapter from where the IR travels to the detector and in between that air passes through. This is the patient monitor like you can see the CO2 reading is 50 and this is while testing the capno, uh, capnostat. The readings that we can see on the monitor 37, CO2 only is, uh, cap it is CO2 sensor is attached to this monitor and no other transducers. Just for the sake of checking, we are blowing air through the airway adapter. The ATCO2 can be uh, taken by two ways. That is, uh, first is the side stream capnography, and then it is the mainstream capnography. In side stream capnography, there is a sampling light attached to the ET tube, and this goes through the ventilation circuit. So from this, it goes through the AGM or the side stream detector, and there there is a sensor and display which calculates the ETCO2. In mainstream ETCO2, the ETCO2 sensor is directly over the ET tube. That is the IR source, that is infrared source and the infrared detector are on the ET tube. And there and there, uh, there is a signal uh, transmission and reception takes place. And then it gives the data to the main recorder and then it displays the ETCO2 values. This is of ETCO2 sensor and this is AGM or side stream method. The respiratory process consists of three main events that is cellular metabolism, transport and ventilation. Cellular metabolism of food into energy, O2 consumption and CO2 production. Then we have the transportation of O2 and CO2 between cells and pulmonary capillaries and diffusion from into alveoli. That is the transport, whole transportation system. Then the ventilation. Ventilation between alveoli and atmosphere. So atmospheric air in and the gaseous exchange. So the ETCO2 can give us the idea about cellular metabolism, transport and ventilation. So the sum of cellular metabolism, transport and ventilation is shown by the ETCO2 graph which is shown on the patient monitor system. There are two, uh, two things we need to consider in the ETCO2. That is one is the physiological factor, other is the equipment. In physiological, the factor which can affect the CO2 production includes substrate metabolism, drug therapy and core temperature. Then the factor affecting CO2 transport include the cardiac output and the pulmonary fusion. Then we have the factors which can affect the ventilation include obstructive and restrictive diseases and breath rate. Then the ventilation perfusion ratio is also an important parameter. Then, in equipment, ventilation setting and malfunction, tubing obstruction, disconnection and leakage all can affect the capnography readings and from if we are taking from the sample, the sampling method and the site of sampling can be a major factor for the ETCO2 readings. A typical capnogram can be considered as two segments, one in expiratory and one inspiratory segment. And there are two angles, alpha and beta. The alpha angle shows the ventilation and the perfusion status of the lung, whereas the beta shows the ex extent of rebreathing. Phase 1. During this first position of exhalation during which anatomical apparatus dead space gas is exhaled and there is no CO2. It is phase 1. Now let us come to phase 2. An expiration continues a short phase of caprogram is recognized in phase 2 with a rapid S shaped upstroke on the trace due to mixed of dead space gases with alveolar gases. Now it is in the phase 2. 3. Also called the alveolar plateau represents the CO2 rich gas from the alveolar plateau represents the CO2 gas from the alveoli in the time capnogram the alveolar plateau lasts for the greater part of the trace. 
In the phase 4, there is a rapid decrease of CO2 due to the inhalation of fresh gases and the alveoli, uh, alveoli has the ga fresh gaseous exchange and CO2 concentration decreases. The inspiratory phase or inspiratory segment that we can say in this graph. There is a descending curve and makes almost the right, uh, right angle turn and rapidly descends to the baseline. This represents the inspiratory phase during which fresh uh, gases, CO2 free gases are inhaled and CO2 concentration falls rapidly to zero. That was all for the capnography. See you soon in the next video.